Travis Kels, the Kansas City Chief standout tight end, sat uncomfortably in front of his phone, his pulse beating with anticipation. Tonight was not an ordinary night. His girlfriend, Taylor Swift, the legendary pop star, was ready to go live on Instagram. Travis had a feeling something remarkable was going to happen, but he couldn't exactly pinpoint it. Travis activated the live video when the countdown on his screen hit zero. There she was, Taylor Swift, all beauty and charm. Her bright eyes greeted his through the screen, and Travis felt a rush of emotion pour over him. Even from a far distance, he was drawn to her. Hey, everyone! Taylor smiled warmly at her followers before focusing her attention on Travis. A special greeting to my love, Travis. Tonight, I'd like to try something unusual. Travis felt his heart skip a beat. He had a sense that this was the moment he had been waiting for. I've written some songs, Taylor said, that express all I feel for Travis. They aren't for the world, they're only for him. Travis felt a knot grow in his throat as Taylor started strumming her guitar. The first chords of a sweet melody rang out, and Taylor's soft and tender voice filled the room. Travis, this one's for you. She whispered, her gaze riveted on his. As Taylor sang, Travis felt the weight of her words wash over him. Each line felt like a love letter written specifically for him, describing emotions he had never dared to articulate. Tears welled up in his eyes as he listened, overwhelmed by Taylor's love. The live video proceeded, with Taylor delivering song after song, each one more moving than the last. Travis was moved beyond words, his emotions overflowing with love for this amazing woman who had captured his soul. Travis wiped away his tears as Taylor's final song faded away his emotions still raw and powerful. He gazed at the camera, his voice shaking with passion. Taylor, I I don't know what to say. He began, his voice choked from emotion. That was the most wonderful thing anyone had ever done for me. I love you more than words can say. Taylor's cheeks flowed with tears as she blew Travis a kiss through the screen. I love you too, Travis, she said softly, her voice full of emotion. As the world watched, Travis Kels and Taylor Swift enjoyed a genuine and intense love that transcended anything else. And while they basked in the heat of their love, they realized that no matter what obstacles arose, as long as they had each other, they could conquer them. There may have been more than Jason Kels, the Kansas City Chiefs tight end's older brother, made a subtle allusion to the podcast roots of Travis's romance with the Grammy winner, when speaking with Philadelphia Eagles running back Saquon Barkley, about his passing interest in acting. On the March 27 episode of the New Heights podcast, Jason merely urged the player to speak it into existence. Seriously, just throw it out there, the retired NFL player added. Stuff happens when it goes out on New Heights. After all, Travis only last summer detailed his attempt to pass Taylor a friendship bracelet at her Kansas City Eras tour stop which he eventually bungled. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows, because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings, he said on their July podcast. So, I was a little butt hurt I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. Finally, Taylor and Travis came together as a result of their public disappointment. Travis very adorably put me on blast on his podcast, which I thought was metal as hell, Taylor told Time in December. We started hanging out right after that. Taylor soon returned to Arrowhead Stadium, this time to support her. While Taylor has attended multiple NFL games, including Travis and the Chiefs Super Bowl victory, he has proven that he is her number one fan by attending Era's tour events around the world. I'm going to see him do what he loves, we're showing up for each other, other people are there and we don't care, Taylor went on to say. We're just proud of each other. Continue reading to learn what Travis's manifestations revealed about his connection with Taylor. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelce's love story began in July 2023, when the singer's Era's tour stopped at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. As a great Swift fan, the Kansas City Chiefs tied and attended the show, in the intention of presenting Taylor a friendship bracelet with his number on it. However, he was unable to finish the pass because of her pre-show rituals. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows, because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings, 
Travis said in the July 26 episode of his New Heights podcast. So, I was a little but hurt I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. After publicly detailing his fumble which Taylor subsequently described as metal as hell Travis, decided to shoot his shot and invite the Grammy winner to witness the Chiefs play. I threw it out there, and I put the ball in her court, he said on the Pat McAfee show. I told her, I've seen you rock the stage in Arrowhead, you should come watch me rock the stage in Arrowhead, and see which one's a little more illuminated. So, let's see what occurs in the near future. A snapshot is worth thousands of words when its finest aspects are analyzed, and a recent photo of Taylor Swift and Travis Kulse leaving lunch contains at least one feature worth discussing. Her handbag. On Sunday, the couple returned from a trip in the Bahamas to dine at Nobu in Malibu. Restaurant goers took hazy images and videos using their camera phones, zooming in as to satisfy an insatiable want to know the singer's every move, while she takes a two-month sabbatical from her record-breaking, billion-dollar era's tour. While the photo and comments about the pair circulated on the internet, Ramesh Nair's phone in Paris, 5,700 kilometers away, began to blow up. When Swift and Kels exited, a clear photo captured by paparazzi revealed the couple's fashion. Kels's white Happy Gilmore hat is a personal favorite that he wears frequently. His beige sweater matched the color scheme of Swift's upcoming 11th album, Tortured Poets, which will be released in April. Sarah Chappell, the Taylor Swift style expert, described her light blue cashmere sweater, beige skirt, loafers, and exquisite leather purse as having schoolgirl softness in an Instagram post. In fact, my phone hasn't stopped getting messages, Nair adds over Zoom. We've had a couple amazing ladies who have carried our bags. The creative director of Joseph Duclos, a French heritage brand founded 269 years ago, has handed over his purses to France's First Lady Bridget Macron and former First Lady Carla Bruni. The company honors a centuries-long legacy of delivering timeless fashion to royalty physically, politically, and figuratively. Millions of followers worldwide have dubbed Swift a modern-day queen, and she fits the Duclos template well. I'm really proud to have Swift carry that bag, Nair says. A few months ago, we created a list of persons. I was opposed to giving away bags to anyone. I thought someone had this makes sense. Given that Nair spent years designing and crafting the expensive purse. When the world gradually reopened after the coronavirus outbreak in 2020, the craftsmen took advantage of the small crowds to visit museums. There would be few people inside the Louvre, which is usually packed with visitors. He meticulously researched the evolution of leather from the 1700s to the present, taking notes and sketching pictures in a little book he keeps in his back pocket. I had written something about soft and firm like a clamshell, he explains. The purse is made of supple leather and features a metallic frame. The arrowhead clasp was inspired by a statue of Diana, the goddess of hunts. I mixed a whole bunch of little inspirations, little thoughts. From designs to production, the bag took roughly a year to perfect. How did the caramel-strapped item become a Swift accessory? She selected the bag, Nair recalls of his team's meeting with Swift stylist Joseph Cassell. The Joseph Duclos owner personally delivered the accoutrement to Cassell's Los Angeles office.